All right, so in this lecture, the next thing we need to do is to start working our textures into the rest of our painting. So um, I went ahead and grouped everything. So we have the line art in one group, all the primary lighting in another group, and our textures in a third group. So uh, on top of those textures, we're going to make a new layer. And we're going to call this layer texture lighting. And on this layer, we're going to come in and begin to um, start working the lighting in a little bit more. So the way we're going to do that, we're going to zoom in here a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and make sure I have, let's go with, let's go with this painter brush. And we're going to color pick some of these areas. We're going to bring it warmer and lighter. And we're going to go pretty warm and pretty light with it. Because these are going to be our real bright highlights. And we're going to come in here. And on each of these individual textures, we are going to start adding some little sort of tiny highlights on these. And we are trying to take into account what we already have here from our texture layer so that it feels like it really fits in with what we already have going on. Okay, so every little, you know, the top of all these little wrinkles, I'm trying to light. Okay. And then we're going to work our way up the nose here. And we can go ahead and zoom out and in, erase parts that we might need to that are maybe are getting a little too strong. Let's zoom back in here and let's move over to this side here and we'll start getting some of these textures you know I'm gonna use a different brush something that can get a little bit of a finer point I think I'm gonna go with hard round here And we're just kind of mimicking the texture here by creating these sort of broken up highlights. And it's going to take some time, but it'll be worth it. So just go over this whole thing. We're going to bring out all those little textures in that skin overlay we did. Same thing over here on these eyes. Bring our brush size up a bit. I'm gonna go pretty much all the way white on this here. Not quite, but almost. I'm also going to go ahead and turn off the line art at this point. I don't really think we need it anymore. I think it's kind of distracting, so we're, I go ahead and turn that off all the way. 
and start bringing in these little highlights and the pores here. This way it will help it so that the texture doesn't just feel so flat and pasted on there on top. It'll feel like it actually belongs to the image as part of the scene with this lighting sort of helping work on top of it. Same thing down here on the bottom side of the nose here. Same with the blue on the side. Just gonna work in these little little highlights here from that reflected light there as it's picking it up on the side. All right, I'm gonna come over here, color pick this yellow again. Let's keep painting in some of this stuff here. Doing the horns, just going across the whole thing. And you can see how it's already starting to feel like much more cohesive image. Like these are really sort of connected and part of the whole thing. All right, we're moving over across the image. Let's uh, let's do this color down here, this sort of reflected green light. And we got some that's kind of reflecting down here off the bottom of his upper lip. So I'm just doing some little hairs here that would be getting hit by the reflected light. Just working these little textures and then we're also going to get this horn here.
Excellent. And then it looks like we, for the most part, have the main, this big creature done. Oh, you know what? We got, let's do his tail. And then we have the log done. And then all we have left is these little guys. And then we're going to go back with a multiply layer and help tie in some of the shadows as well. So let's continue onward. We're coming down here to the tail. And adding some more texture. There we go, that tail is really starting to come together. And then now, let's do these little guys up top and on the log. I'm gonna zoom in real close on them so we can see what we're doing. These are really going to help out with these guys because so far they look a little bit cartoony because they're so tiny. But this texture will really help them feel like they're part of this scene. Alright, let's hit these highlights on his head here. Then we'll move our way down his arm here as we get all these little highlights from all these scales. All right, and then let's move down to the other guy. Something to keep in mind, by the way, um, and maybe we should have mentioned this earlier, is that when you're doing this, make sure that you're highlighting it consistent with the lighting that's already in your scene, not what the texture shows. So the texture, depending on how you oriented it, might have a little bit different lighting on it than what your scene lighting is. And that's okay. I mean, try and orient it when you're doing the texture to kind of match, but it's the opacity is down, it's not going to be as big a deal, but just make sure though that when you're lighting it yourself, like what we're doing right now, that you're hitting the lighting accurately to what you've already established, not what is shown on the texture. Because this will kind of help override what's already on the texture and get it to match what you're going for in your scene already. All right, and there we go. That is our lit texture. Next step, we're going to go ahead and add the shadow. So we're going to make a new layer. We're gonna call this Texture Shadows. We're going to set this layer to Multiply. We're gonna get a nice dark color here. And I'm gonna go with a soft opacity brush here. And what we're going to do now is there's some areas that are going to need to be darkened up, especially since we've gotten rid of our line art. We are going to need to make some of these shadows a little bit darker in our scene. So some examples would include these wrinkles on the nose. Want to darken these back up, bring them back to where they were before. 
really getting some of this uh, ambient occlusion really, which is where you know our shadows get really dark here. This includes some of the shadow on the texture that we have. We can darken that up. Help tie it into our image a little bit more. Okay. That's going to include these crevices in the eye. Let's just stick to probably to those two actually. Get some right here where the horn attaches into the head. Get some dark ambient occlusion in there. Um, some along these wrinkles, different areas where we have these little wrinkles in the skin. Especially we're going to have it right along the mouth. Should get a nice dark crisp line right in there. Excellent. Perhaps some along these wrinkles here. Including down here on the claws, we can darken those up. Right in there along the folds. Especially in here where the arm is uh, meeting up with the rest of the body here. Get some darkness in there. Some of these folds that are coming along the body of the creature down here. Getting really dark right there along the base where this is kind of touching down with the claws. Down in here, I'm gonna get a little bit on these neck wrinkles here, neck folds. Get some on these little guys, his mouth, for example. Some spots in here up against his body where it should be getting really dark. 
where his toes and hands are coming in contact with the tree. We'll get some ambient occlusion there as well. Right under his little fingers as he grabs onto the horn there, as well as down here on the guy's head. When we reach back into the body here, it should get pretty dark. All right, excellent. All right, let's zoom out here and just do one quick pass with our eyes, see if there's any spots we missed. Can maybe darken up some of these wrinkles and folds down here on his stomach. All right, I'm really liking it. It looks super good so far. Get some down here in uh, the wrinkles in his tail here. All right, I think that is good. I'm just doing one more pass. I'm gonna zoom in here on his face. Oops, I don't wanna get these eyes right, so I'm gonna get a nice dark line right down there, down the middle of his eyelids. All right, fantastic, there we go. So that is it for this lecture, and I will see you guys in the next one.